Good morning. Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry on this Saturday morning. I'm so glad you're able to join me as we begin our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. With his right hand and his holy arm, he has won for himself the victory. The Lord has made known his victory, his righteousness, as he openly shown in the depths of the nations. He remembers his mercy and faithfulness to the house of Israel, and all the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout with joy to the Lord, all you lands. Lift up your voice, rejoice and sing. Sing to the Lord with a harp, with a harp and the voice of a song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Shout with joy before the King, the Lord. Let the sea make a noise and all that is in it, the lands and those who dwell therein. Let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills ring out with joy before the Lord when he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. Let us pray. Lord, we sing to you a new song for your victory is ever new. In the, to in the empty tomb, you have given us a glimpse of your future. And in your victory over death, you have shown us how we shall overcome the last enemy. As the seas roar and the hills sing together, we too will praise you for your great triumph. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Our reading today continues in Isaiah in the 56th chapter, beginning with, with verse 1. Thus says the Lord, keep justice and do righteousness, for soon my salvation will come and my deliverance be revealed. Blessed is the man who does this and the son of the man who holds it fast, who keeps the Sabbath, not profaning it, and keeping his hands from doing any evil. Let not the foreigner who has joined himself to the Lord say, The Lord will surely separate me from his people. And let not the eunuch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. For thus says the Lord to the eunuchs who keeps, uh, keep my Sabbath, who choose the things that please me and hold fast my covenant. I will give in my house and within my walls a monument and a name better than sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name which shall not be cut off. And the foreigners... Uh, who join themselves to the Lord to minister to them, to love the name of the Lord and to be his servants. Everyone who keeps the Sabbath and does not profane it and holds fast my covenant, these I will bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices will be accepted at my altar for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. Thus says the Lord God who gathers the outcasts of Israel I will gather yet others to him besides those already gathered. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second reading comes from Galatians, the fifth chapter, beginning with verse 24. If we live by the Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. Let us have no self-conceit, no provoking of one another, no envy of one another. Brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, you, uh, you who are spiritual shall restore him in the spirit of gentleness. Look to yourself, lest you too be tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone thinks he is something, when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But let each one test his own work, and then his reason to boast will be in himself alone and not in his neighbor. For each man will have no bear on his own load. Let him who has taught the word share all good things with him who teaches. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked for whatever a man sows that he will also reap. For he who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the spirit will from the spirit reap eternal life. And let us not grow weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap 
if we do not love uh, uh, love lose lose heart if we do not lose heart so then as we have opportunity let us do good to all men and especially to those who are in the household of faith the word of the lord thanks be to god and our holy gospel today comes from saint mark the ninth chapter glory to you o lord and when they came to the disciples, they saw a great crowd about them and scribes arguing with them. And immediately all the crowd, when they saw him, were greatly amazed and ran up to him and greeted him. And he asked them, what are you discussing with them? And one of the crowd answered him, teacher, I brought my son to you, for he is a dumb spirit. And when, uh, wherever, uh, wherever it seizes him, he dashes him down and it foams and, and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked your disciples to cast it out and they were not able. And he answered them, O faithless generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him. And when the spirit saw him immediately, it convulsed the boy and he fell on the ground and rolled about foaming at the mouth. And Jesus asked his father, how long has he had this? And, and he said, from childhood. And it has often cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have pity on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, if you can, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the father and the child cried out and said, I believe, help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw the crowd coming running together, he, be, he rebuked the unclean spirit and saying to it, you dumb and deaf spirit, I command you come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out and the boy was like a corpse so that most of them said he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up and he arose. And when he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, why could we not cast it out? And he said to them, this kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer. The gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Lord and our Savior, begotten before all ages, revealed himself to the world. Alleluia. Let us pray. We have come, O God, at thy bidding. Unless we are willing to be healed, thou canst not heal the world's hurt. Grant us now in the power of thy spirit to hear the word which maketh whole the sick and all things new that were old. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And all that we do direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me on this uh, Saturday morning. I hope you have a safe and blessed day and hope to see you tomorrow as well. God bless you. Bye-bye.